Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're gonna go on a trip this week. We got um, we're gonna go to Georgia, Georgia. We're gonna pass through Georgia. <laughs> we're gonna go to South Carolina, up to Tennessee, and back to Houston. I'm gonna take you guys on a, a week with me. Just got a uh, all my stuff in the truck. Show you guys my setup. DEF. I don't know. I'm about I'm about to switch the pumps up because it's getting expensive. But I got a um, uh, fragometer refractometer to check the the quality of it so i've been starting to use that and um might use that got a little bit of water i put my uh put my food away got the food for the week got some cheese sticks some protein shakes some already made uh, dinners got boxes of uh cases of water some extra gasoline for my generator got my other lunch bag with snacks and stuff these water bottles are for my seeds and some pop tarts in there Usually don't do that, but uh, I feel, a little, feel like I don't want a little extra. And I brought my Suzuki Samurai with me. She's gonna stay here all week. But um, we're gonna go deadhead to Orange, Texas. Go pick up a load. So see you guys when we get there. Got the truck um, truck ready and everything. So let's go. What's up? We made it here, man. Got a nice view of the lake. Backed in the door, and uh, it's pretty quick. So hopefully they start loading it quick. Looks like I'm picking up some, it's something for uh, Continental tires. So I don't know what it is, but it look like these little totes, metal totes. So hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's lighter than they say it is. But um, so we're gonna get loaded. I'm trying to make this video real short, but to give you guys a summary of my uh, OTR week with weekends off you know it man gotta be home for those kids but uh today's tuesday and we're gonna we're gonna go south carolina tennessee from tennessee back and try to be home early saturday yesterday i did um i delivered a load i brought back from kansas and um then i did a local going to uh corpus christi did that came back got a good rate on that too because i used to pull those when I was leased on hauling ISOs, pull those for pretty cheap. But enough jabbering. We're gonna we're gonna try to keep this video real short, but I'll give you a summary. So of every little thing that I not everything, because then it'd be a long video. <laughs> I got my mouth set full stuff there, sorry about that. Spit up the camera right now. But um gonna get this done, we're gonna get fuel, find a place to park. So every time I stop, try to make it real short and sweet. Alright guys, be right back. What's up? All right, we're over here at the Mississippi scale. I'm gonna call it a night. Tomorrow we got uh, nine hours and 11 minutes. With uh, Well, that's not showing traffic. We should get a little bit of traffic going through Atlanta, but it won't be too bad. I usually park here so I know I can make it unless something, you know, something really, really big happens on the freeway or something, but we should be good. So, see you guys in the morning. Good night. Morning guys. So getting everything ready, just got up, fixed the bed. Gotta fix the bed, man. This is the first uh first accomplishment of the day. But um we're still into my vitamins right now. <clears throat> got some iron, got some zinc, got my allergy pill, got um meprazole, some anti-acid. Multivitamin, some ashwanda, calcium, B12, um, biotin, and some vitamin C. But um, then we gotta brush our teeth. And we're parked at the scale, so. Well, I'm gonna clean all the bugs off the truck too. Do that, and then we'll get going. And be on our way. And do the pre-trip, you know, and all that stuff. But um, let's, let's get this going. <coughs> wow, <coughs> bad time. <coughs> the cereal got in my neck. So we, you know, we spent the night at the scale, all right? We got an inspection. I don't want to get all my personal information, but CDL. No violations were discovered. We're level two. So now the brokers can give us the loads. 
crock of bullshit. Oh, oh, shit. Gotta, I, I gotta edit that out. Crock of BS. All right, guys, let's go. All right, guys, going through Atlanta. Got a million bucks on the windshield. Still on schedule for our delivery tomorrow. In an hour past Atlanta, we're gonna get fuel at the TA. And that's gonna be the second time we fuel, just to top off. Cause then uh, this fill up again, me uh, back to Louisiana to get some uh, inexpensive fuel at the at the TA. All right, we'll be back. What's up, guys? So we're in uh, Sumter, South Carolina, at the at the receiver and uh, Continental Tire. We got the load off ready, but um, just cleaning the truck up. Got like a million bugs on here, man. Texas bugs too. Texas and Louisiana, because it stopped like right when I got into uh, Alabama. But I already cleaned this side. I cleaned the top, cleaned all the, the, the windows and everything. All the arrow. But I cleaned this one. I'm gonna show you how I do it. I get these microfiber towels. And I got one wet one, one dry one. That's it, man. Just it won't scratch it either. As long as you know it's wet. This, this is single stage paint, man. It's it's real easy to buff out, anyways. But I've been doing this for years, man. I never have any issues. See, even on this this uh, plastic, this mirror finished plastic. That's it, man. Just scrub it down. This towel is real wet, though. And I got an extra um, water gallon. Just refill it at the, the truck stops. That's it, man. And I get this one. Brand new. That's it. So I'm going to get done with the rest of this truck. Look at that bumper, man. Bumpers. Little bugs. Already got that mirror. Clean this up, and then uh, we're gonna get get going. Get going to our next pickup. All right, we'll be back. Getting loaded, North Charleston, South Carolina. Gotta go to Benton, Tennessee. We got here early, man. Well, not real early, but it's uh, 112 Eastern time, and uh, we're supposed to pick up at three. There was a, they had a, they had another driver in the door, but he told me he's like, as soon as he pulls out, just pull out. Wow, the light is reflecting off me. But um, everything's good so far. We just showered. Showered at the Love for free with my uh, my fuel card, and uh, so that's gonna be the last shower for today. Maybe maybe, maybe we'll shower again now, maybe not. <laughs> but we're going to uh, go over there, and I just, I was reading the Google reviews; and they got overnight parking, so that's real good. That way we could deliver early in the morning, and then we do our next pickup. Picks up in uh, Crossville, Tennessee. And that one picks up at, uh, I'm just looking at my notes on my paper. Or my my uh, my trip sheet. That one picks up at 2 p.m. and delivers on the 19th at 7 a.m. So we're going to get there super early too. And hopefully we get loaded and get out of there. But um, let's keep this video short. All right. Let's, um, I'll be back when we, uh, when we get over there. What's it? Beautiful Tennessee. It's nice out here, man. The weather's nice too. It's like 60 degrees in the morning. Nice switch from the heat. 
but we're getting unloaded right now and then we got a deadhead to um do the next pickup oh, what was that my load locks oh no they were out of the way i wonder where he put them hopefully he didn't run them over oh man Should be done. It's like the ramp's going up. Yep. You hear the little creaky noise from the ramp. Yep, that was it. All right. We're going to get going and we're going to get to the next spot and we'll come back. What's up? <laughs> the light makes me look crazy, man. Man, we're over here in Arkansas and um, out here in the truck stop. JJ's truck stop. If you guys don't know about it, it's off the um, off the 30, just just past uh, Little Rock. Man, they got parking here all night. Got a lot of room. But um, man, I was doing my post trip and there was uh, three little tiny drops of gear oil. And the last time that happened. The axle nuts were backing off so i took off the hub cap and i just put a regular wrench on there just to see if they were tying and one of them turned me so um went on cummins on uh, cummins problem solver on facebook messaged one of my friends and uh pretty much it, it seems like 150 foot pounds was was the torque so good thing i got a torque wrench with me man good thing i got tools but um, tying them down, and there was only a few that were at 150 that that clicked at 150. So they probably hit it with the impact, called it good, and uh, put you know a few of them stayed. I guess when they impacted a few of them, they clicked a little longer. You know they they put it on a little longer, but it's a shame, man, because that was uh, got that got that diff resealed um, at Rush Peterbilt a few months ago. So, but um. Makes me think, what else did they just impact on? But um, torque that on, so we should be good. It's just a few drops. So hopefully that didn't, yeah, it didn't get loose. It didn't, it didn't make the axle loose. It should be good. So we're tying it up. So we're gonna watch, see if it leaks. If it keeps on leaking, then we're gonna replace the gasket and take it all off and put it back on. It's not that complicated. But um, that's it. That's it for the night. And uh, we're going to see you guys when we're back to Houston. This is the, the last night we're going to spend the night in the truck. And we'll be back in Houston. So we went to um, South Carolina, Tennessee, and back four days. So I should be back. It's only like a six-hour six drive tomorrow. And then um, that's it for the weekend. And then delivers 7 a.m. on Monday. So well, we'll be back. I'll, I'll close this video out when we get back to Houston. All right, bye. We made it back, guys. Back at the yard. Missing the other trailer still. Should be back. And they, they said middle of the month they should be getting some parts. So hopefully, but we got that load on. Delivers Monday. It's around uh, three. It's three three o three right now, Saturday. So we got today, tomorrow off. I'm gonna go donate some blood. I gotta get there before four. But I gotta switch cars because it's a little far and I wasn't I was thinking I was gonna get back a little earlier. But I'm still gonna try to get home and switch cars. But got my 87 Suzuki Samurai. This thing man, it was a disaster when we got it. Carburetor was in the passenger seat. My buddy from uh when I was hauling fuel, he sold it to me and uh for like 500 bucks. Thing wasn't running and leaking everywhere. But um trying to get these things on there. But we pretty much restored the whole thing. Do I do for hobby? I got a few other ones that are playing with too. But um the other ones are got two other an Acura and a Honda. You know those 90, 90, 90 classics. Man, this thing is tough. Oh this thing don't want to go in at all. All right, hope you guys like the video. If you guys give me a thumbs up, and if you guys can subscribe to the channel, free subscription, I'd really appreciate it, it really helps the channel. I got another video, 
It's about the DEF fluid. And um, I'll show you guys how to test it. I think that's, that's gonna be a good video, a real short video. Hopefully this one's short too, but hope you guys like it, man. Appreciate you guys watching. You guys stay blessed, be safe. All right, bye.